Welcome all of you, the viewers of Puyland Daily Culture. We are right now in the Royal Castle in Warsaw, talking about John Paul II. And here with us is Paweł Figurski, a historian, also a theologist, and a person expert in the thought of John Paul II. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you for having me. And this exhibition, which uh, we can see in the Royal Castle in Warsaw, touches many aspects of his pontificate and his role in Poland, but also, I would say, the political role, which, of course, he had, which is also connected to the figure of St. Stanisław. In the previous episode, we talked a little bit more about his first first uh, pilgrimage to Poland, how it was postponed, and how um, the communist party and the communist government in those times were so afraid of the Pope coming to Poland, speaking here and referring to the saint. Uh, what were the, uh, I would say, the outcomes of those nine days he spent here on Polish soil as a Pope? There is an American producer that made a movie entitled uh, Nine Days That Changed the World. And it was about the first pilgrimage to Poland uh, because uh, one year after we have the solidarity movement uh, exploding uh, in Poland and uh, basically all the transformation ongoing to change the, the political order. But perceiving John Paul II as merely politician would be, I would say, shallowing, of, shallowing of his uh, figure because Obviously, he touched on pol many political aspects, he, or he was actively involved in politics uh, of his uh, time. He, as we recall, was very much against the war in Iraq uh, after 2001. And uh, he was uh, actively participating in many political aspects of his era, but he was not doing it because he was a politician. He was looking at these events with the, his supernatural outlook to uh, perform politics as part of ethics, to uh, bring uh, peace and uh, love, actually love, to the uh, politics. Um, this is also part of his Catholic social teaching, a very interesting uh, manuscript uh, re-emerged uh, recently with the lectures of John Paul II in Catholic social teaching. This was a lecture taken over his uh, professor, Pivovarczyk, in Krakow, when John Paul II uh, was still an academic teacher. And he put an emphasis on charity as not this um, vague feeling that we watch uh, in the many movies, but category that should uh, stood at the front of social activity. So his involvement in politics was, in a sense, Augustinian, trying to bring uh, charity uh, to the affairs, to the human affairs. And this pilgrimage has a huge impact on um Polish uh, state and the situation and also of people. And we e even use a term of political theology of John Paul II. Uh, what is understood by this term? So the term political theology is kind of risky one because it was first introduced by a lawyer jurist, Carl Schmidt in the 30s in the Nazi Germany. So many people are kind of uh, uh, afraid of talking about political uh, theology in this sense. And obviously, John Paul II uh, has nothing to do uh, with this kind of political theology advanced by Carl Schmitt. He would stand rather in accord with uh, the opponent of Schmitt, Eric Peterson, who claimed that there is no such thing as Orthodox Catholic political theology, but this is a broader issue, and maybe we won't go into these details. Um, what is uh, um, crucial is that John Paul II was an integral man, looking at the man in its integrity, looking at its beginning here on earth, but it, it, his, uh, his or her end in heaven, meaning uh, his call to become part of the Holy Trinity, 
And in this sense, being an integral man, he also was not able not to touch on the affairs that uh, are labeled political, but this was an attempt to bring more humanity uh, into what is going on in the perplexed and tormented world uh, after the Second World War, amidst the Cold War, and also amidst the communist uh, regimes in many parts throughout the world. And this aspect, of course, we can see in the in the modern world because um, I am very much in favor of the thesis that if not for John Paul II, probably the communists wouldn't fall and uh, we wouldn't live in free Poland right now. So definitely that is his political heritage, which we, we live right now, and as a pope but also as a Polish priest, uh, which uh, had had this uh, influence on us until until today. During this interview, we can also, we showed how complex and different was his figure, starting from being a priest, an art, also an artist, a poet, an actor, a speech maker, politician, and uh, of course, a, a pope, so a spiritual leader, of the church, but also I would say of humanity, because he uh, didn't exclude from church those who were not strictly Catholic, did he? Obviously for John Paul II, uh, uh, all the people shared the uh, human dignity that was uh, rooted in God's creation, regardless uh, one believed in uh, God or not. So John Paul II was a great defender of humanity in every aspect. Uh, in many cultures, he was also open for uh, cultures that were uh, not uh, Christian. He uh, very much promoted the meeting in Assisi between various uh, religious groups. So he was the defender of humanity in uh, all possible aspects um, uh, throughout his uh, manifold life. We just touched the surface of complexity of the role of John Paul II, especially the one artistic one, because he was of also huge defender of art and the role of art in the world. You can see this at the exhibition in the Royal Castle in Warsaw and in beautiful pieces of art who were connected somehow to the role and the figure of the Pope, but also artists who later on prepared sculptures and painted the Pope himself as a figure. Watch it, it's really exquisite, and thank you very much for being with us and watching Poland Daily Culture.